Because of this, the pandemic found a weakened state. Whether the government spoke or it didn't speak, by its own actions, it was already too weakened. So the government was depending and continues to depend on a fairly colonial system that is modeled around thinking that the health services should be provided in public. And yet the opposite is true. Health services are being provided in, in, the, in the private sector. The challenge with this is that all the colonial regulations, laws, policies that we've had, which still apply today, are regulating services that are provided in the public. And there is much less regulation for services that are being provided uh, by the private sector. So when it comes to regulation, I think it, it became even worse. The government could not, for instance, regulate the practices of the private sector as they were administering treatment. I, I, I was one of the people who sued the government of Uganda for failure to regulate um, the prices because what we were watching in the pandemic was that people were entering into facilities and charged millions of shillings. The average bills being $10,000, $20,000, and $30,000 was, was really a common thing that whenever you walked into a facility, you were supposed to be paying these services, especially if you ended up in ICU, things became very, very tough. So because of the absence of the regulation for the private sector, things actually became uh, quite tough. Investments in emergency care, which was the day, the order of the day on the pandemic, was not actually visible um, in the public sector. That even when the facilities were there for the public sector, if you ended up in an ICU, chances were that 95% were going to be going into an emergency care for, for, for the private sector. So again, those that could not afford ended up staying at home and things became worse. The, the, the public sector has been exposed more during immunization because the entire immunization chain that we have at the country level and even other countries is immunization for children. We have never imagined an infrastructure that does immunization within the public sector for people uh, other than children. So because this is the infrastructure that we do have, even when we first got vaccines, they are very, very difficult to be administered because the primary infrastructure for administering that was actually not there. So key inputs like oxygen, like blood, which became essential, ambulances, were actually all owned largely by the private sector and not owned by the, 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 the public sector. Now, laboratories which we are testing, largely all the laboratories that we've been relying on have been private owned. And the few that were set up in the government and strengthened could not be able to, to, to manage. Uh, the pandemic demands that, that we are brought. So the result of this has been huge, huge hospital bills and catastrophic expenditure, which many people have actually faced. My organization has gone to hospitals to negotiate on behalf of clients who have been held up. There have been cases where people's titles for homes have been held even after the, the care hospitals. The cases have been many. The number of letters we've written to private facilities to be able to release homes, to be able to release dead bodies. We've also had situations where dead bodies have actually been held in private facilities for failing uh, to pay. And it's surprising to argue that this is a free market economy. We cannot have uh, the regulation of, 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 of the private sector as much as possible. So. I think for me, by way of, of opening the conversation up, we definitely need to think about how we have remodeled our health service delivery beyond just being private sector owned towards uh, a more public-led um, delivery of health systems. And I think this is something that is going to haunt us beyond just the crisis we've been dealing with in COVID-19. I'll stop there for now. Uh -huh.